Another way, another way to do it is with OmniTrace. So OmniTrace is an AMD project to uh, collect all sorts of information on a program at runtime. You can collect all the things that RockProf can collect, um, plus more things um, like what is happening on the CPU at um, during while the trace was being collected. So OmniTrace has a huge variety of things that it uh, can collect and it's governed, its use is governed by this configuration file. So I'm going to generate a configuration file um, on hub two. So I'm going to switch, actually, no, I'm going to run that on Satonix. Yeah, let's let's run it on Satonix. All right, so I'm going to get an allocation back on Satonix. So if I just go history, if I put to grip this alloc, um, let's just run 1010. Okay, so I'm running my previous f alloc command to get an interactive node. All right. So I'm getting out of my rockprof MPI and we're changing back to L5 profiling. All right. So as I, as I said, um, the OmniTrace application gets its parameters to work from a configuration file. And we can generate a configuration file um, using this command here. So I'm just going to source my environment. And let's run that command. So we go omnitrace avail, and we create a configuration file. So in this particular instance, there was one hip device and 2,690 hardware counters that we can choose from. <laughs> um, so let's have a look at the configuration file. I might just increase the size of that. So let's have a look at the configuration file that was generated, the omnitrace.cfg. And so this is the omnitrace configuration file. And so you've got true or false with a lot of options here. Um, and there is, there is um, a useful resource uh, in the in the notes, if you click on this link here, it will take you across to a PDF where I think AMD has done some training with OmniTrace and all the different things that you can do. So even more than I will explain in this this training. So we've got our configuration file. That's our configuration file. And there's a heap of uh, different options in here and backends that you can use. And let's go ahead and use this. Now, if you want to, if you want to see all the things that are possibly available, we can go OmniTrace, Avail, and then with option All. Oops. That There it is, OmniTrace Avail. Okay, so there is there is a huge variety of um, of options that you can collect with OmniTrace. So that is to list all the options. So OmniTrace Avail lists all um, OmniTrace Avail with the all option lists all options. Now you can add you can add the collection of GPU hardware counters by setting omnitrace rockum events in your config file. So let's do that. Let's uh, edit the omnitrace config file. And then at the end, 
I'm just going to add Omni Trace Rockham Events. And we're going to add the hardware performance counter GPU busy. So that's GPU busy. And you can add other um you can add other hardware counters to this config file. And you can also select uh, devices as well. You can also select devices as well. It's something like device equals zero, uh, something like that um, to add counting for a particular hardware performance counter for a kernel or for your kernels while they are being collected with OmniTrace. So let's, let's, let's just leave GPU busy in there. And let's make sure that the profiling script, so the profiling command is, so the profiling application is built. Okay, so that's built. And now we're going to run OmniTrace using the config file. OmniTrace, when it runs, there's two different ways you can run it. You can instrument the code on the fly to use OmniTrace, or you can instrument the code to use OmniTrace beforehand. With this run of OmniTrace, we're going to instrument on the fly. And we're going to collect some performance counter information on the fly. So this is the command to do that. It is called OmniTrace instrument. And in order to use the environment script or the environment config that we have, you can set the env option and then set the environment variable OmniTrace config file is equal to um, what we have here, um, the OmniTrace config file. Or you can stick a copy of the OmniTrace config file in your home directory. Um, so that's uh, two ways you can do it. But I think this is more portable this way. Uh, so we go OmniTrace instrument, and then I'll just copy that command in there. OK, now this command will take some time to complete because what it is doing is it's on the fly. It's um, rewriting some parts of the application uh, to route its library calls um, through OmniTrace. So OmniTrace will then um, collect We'll start collecting some statistical information. And um, yeah, and it will collect all the information and then put it out to um, to an output, an output directory. So I'll show you what that output directory is uh, as soon as we've as soon as we've finished with with this. Yep, go ahead, Henry. I was wondering, Omnitrace and Omniprof, is this general tools for, for OpenCL and various platforms only for? for yeah, um, Omnitrace, Omnitrace is becoming available. So Omnitrace and Omniperf are only for AMD hardware. Uh, they are not available for NVIDIA hardware to start with. Omnitrace is available for um, quite a wide variety of AMD graphics cards that are supported by Rockham. OmniPerf is only supported by the MI100, MI200s, and MI300s at this stage. Yep. So OmniTrace has broader support, but OmniPerf has very narrow support for supercomputing GPUs. All right. Yep, no worries. Okay, so it has it has 
Omnitrace has now um, gone ahead and done a rewrite of our application, and it has collected, it has run um, run the code and collected all the information that it wanted to, that we asked it to collect with the config file. So let's have a look at the output directory. And so the output directory is um, Omnitrace, and then the name of the application followed by um, an output. So, the, so that's the that's the output directory. So we go to Omnitrace Mat Malt Profiling, and then output. Now in in this um, directory is a time stamped set of directories. So every time you run um, every time you run Omnitrace, there will be a um, yeah. Every time you run Omnitrace, there'll be a new directory here with the time at which it ran. So this is the latest. So if I go to 2024, um, 0529, there we go. So here is the output from uh, from Omnitrace. So we've got um, functions, metadata, and this perfetto, um, this perfetto trace. So I'm just going to just going to examine the functions one. Okay, that appears to be a JSON with all of the hip calls that were done in there. But but what is um, what is interesting is the perfetto output. So I'm going to copy that that perfetto output. Um, and while I'm doing this, while I'm doing this, why don't you have a go at running Omnitrace on um, on Mat Malt profiling in your own login on Satonix? So let's let's all have a go at that. So I'll I'll copy this to my machine. So all right. So I have copied that now. I've copied that now to a directory called Omnitrace Satonics on my machine. And so going back to Perfetto, let's open a trace file. Um Pelagos Projects Hip Course, course material. L5 profiling, Omnitrace the tonics, and then the Perfetto trace. All right, so here is the information that was collected by Omnitrace. So there's a heap, there's a heap of information here. We've got the CPU frequency, um, as well as some specific information on our run. Okay, so we've got we've got that. So in addition to in addition to um, what you'd collect with Rockprof, we've got all this other information on CPU memory usage, page faults, um, GPU um, GPU busy. So that's the that's the extra, that's the extra um, bit of information that we asked to collect. Now I'm not sure why it shows um, the GPU as being quite busy out here. So that doesn't that doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I would have expected I, I would have expected the GPU to be busy in this area here. So I'm not sure why it's showing the GPU is 100% busy 
at it um at at this point but uh, yeah so all the information that you collect with sorry a lot of the information that you collect with OmniTrace is then visible in this trace output that can be seen with Perfetto. Um, now, this is a older version of OmniTrace that collected this. Um, and I don't quite understand why the kernel doesn't appear, you know, the kernel um, usage doesn't quite appear in this one. But I've I've run OmniTrace on my machine on hub two and I um I can see that I can see that kernel information. Or at least at least I I think it is it's either that or rock prof output. <laughs> so I've been able to see the kernel information from that. Okay, so that is a collection with OmniTrace. So there is um, a huge number of things that you can collect with OmniTrace in addition to um, the power that you have with RockProf. So RockProf allows you to collect things on, um, on the GPU as well as the CPU API side, but OmniTrace allows you to collect a whole lot more, a whole lot more information. Okay, and so that is that. Yep. So something has happened with my my window here. Um, I might need to start up a new terminal. All right. So the next way that we can uh, use OmniTrace is that we can instrument uh, we can instrument OmniTrace um, beforehand and then run it. So I might just share my screen from Hub Two. So I'll stop the share now, and I'm going to share my screen from Hub Two. Okay. All right, so we're sharing the screen from Hub 2. And what I'll do, so this is the OmniTrace on the fly. So if we scroll down a bit, um, there we're going to now instrument OmniTrace prior to execution. So let's let's have OmniTrace instrument prior to running. So what we do when we want to create, um, yep, what we want to do when we want to create, um, yep, the um, sorry, we want to instrument the application beforehand is I think one of these options here, I think it's this one, um, that allows us to use OmniTrace to create a, um, an instrumented binary. So if we have a look at what was created, there is this application called matmult profiling inst.exe. So this command here is used to instrument the application beforehand. So not on the fly like we did with Satonix, but this, um, this instruments the application beforehand. And so it creates this binary called matmult profiling inst.exe. And that's useful because that will run better under MPI, for example. So if you want to run this under MPI, um, you can do that. And when you want to run an instrumented executable, um, then you use this omnitrace run command instead of omnitrace instrument. 
So let's run that. And this is, this is now, um, this is run already. And hopefully this command is not going to cause us problems. But uh, this is run already. And let's have a look now at the output from that. So if we go to um, Omnitrace Mat Malt Profiling Inst Output. So that's the output from the instrumented binary. And the instrumented binary is this one here, Mat Malt Profiling Inst. Exe. So ha let's have a look at that output. Oops. Trace match vault profiling dot inst output. Okay. So the latest one that would have been created is this directory here. So if I go to 2024, 05, uh, 29, 15.02. There is my Perfetto output as before. So if I go in the file manager and I download this output file, so that's 1502 Perfetto, and I can download that to my document. So it's 137143. So I'll save that. And then in Perfetto, I can load this ui.perfetto.dev. And there it is, 137143. Oh, I think we've had a problem. Try that again. No, nope, there's there's nothing that has been produced by by this. So, oh, that's uh that's not very good. Um, I will try opening a previous a previous Perfetto trace. Ah, uh, that's that's the same one that I just downloaded from Satonix. Um, what I might do is I might go to ones that I had created. So we had some problem, which I can't explain. We had some problem on Hub 2 where Omnitrace didn't, the instrumented version of the binary on Omnitrace didn't, um, didn't work. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll have a look at an Omnitrace example um, that I had collected before. And I don't think it is there. Uh, so I've got a, I've got a, um, a, an example that I had collected before with OmniPerf, but not the OmniTrace example. So, yep. So we just have to, yep. We just have to take my word for it that it generates. When it's working properly, it generates something that looks very much like what we got from the live instrumentation. So that's um, that's OmniTrace. And yeah, it's just a bit of a shame that that, uh, that didn't work with the instrumented version. Oh, well, so, sometimes, sometimes these things happen. <laughs> it works when you're, uh, when you're um, not, uh, not doing it live, but, but then sometimes it doesn't work. Okay. So, um, Omni, Omni Perf. Uh, do we have any questions with Omni Trace, by the way? Yeah, so suffice to say that OmniTrace is a project that is being under active development with AMD. It's a research project, and there is going to be rough edges with OmniTrace. 
but um, when it becomes good, I think it has the potential um, to, you know, to collect quite a lot of useful information on your runs. And the way that they've set it up, being able to instrument um, an application for use, um, yeah, being able to instrument an application beforehand, I think that's very, very powerful. All right, yeah, so OmniPerf. So the AMD research tool, OmniPerf, now I'll just change my screen. Actually, no, I'll just, um, I'll get back onto Satonix because we need to be on Satonix to use OmniPerf. So I'm in the HIP course, projects, HIP course. And then course material, L5 profiling. Okay, so I'm back here. I'm going to get back onto Satonix and we're going to try and collect some information with OmniPerf. Okay. Yep, so I'm just changing directory to hip course, change directory to course material, change directory to L5 profiling. And then I'm going to get an allocation on my compute nodes. S alloc, and that's going to be 955. Actually, I don't, yes, I do. Yep, I do need to get that. Okay, so let's go down to OmniPerf. Now, did anyone else have success in collecting a trace with OmniTrace? <laughs> 